she's in love with who I am. Back in high school, I used to bust it to the dance. Yeah. Now I hit the FBO with duffels in my hands. I did have a Zan, 13 hours till I land. Had me out like a light, ay, like a light, ay, like a light. Ay. Slept through the flight, ay, not for the night. Ay. 767, man, this shit got double bedroom, man. I still got scores to settle, man. I crept down the block. Made a right, yeah. Hey, besties. Now me starting to vlog off looking crazy, but hey y'all, it's your girl Des P and I'm back at it again with another video, okay? Another vlog, another weekly vlog. I'm currently doing my makeup, I'm highlighting. We're doing our makeup because I'm about to film a video and then also finish filming a video. So I have a video and a half to work on, girl. I have, um... A fashion overhaul I filmed yesterday, which 9 times out of 10, you guys would have already seen by the time y'all are seeing this video. It was the pink um, and girly haul. I think that's what I titled it, at least. But yeah, I filmed that yesterday. I have to film the try-on portion today because when I finished filming yesterday... First of all, yesterday, I feel like this lighting is terrible. I don't know why my camera keeps going orange. Hold on, y'all. Let me fix the lighting. Is this a better... I don't know hopefully this is better but i'm literally doing my makeup in the viewfinder right now y'all oh my god but i never ended up filming the actual like try on portion i just show all the items because i was in a rush i filmed like five videos that day let me sit y'all down hopefully the lighting don't go orange again if you do girl i don't know i really want to get another camera because like i just feel like the lighting on this camera is always changing let me see if i Close the window. I mean, open the window. So I feel like I look orange. Hold on. I have to find somewhere to sit, y'all. Is this better? Is this better? Girl. I don't know, but hopefully this... We're going to have to rock with this. Let me zoom in a little bit. But yeah, anyway. So I filmed a whole bunch of videos, y'all. And I was kind of in a rush. I wanted to finish filming by a certain time. I ended up just like showing all the items. And I never got around to filming the try on part. So I'm about to do that right now. I also have another try on haul that I need to film as well. So we're going to knock both of those out real quick. Today is Sunday. I should not be working today. But I'm trying to make sure I knock out all of my collabs before this month is over. As well as before this new week begins. Because I don't know. I just want to have a fresh week where I don't have to worry about doing anything. Um, I'm really excited this week y'all. Because I'm finally getting my life together. Together. I also took a little bit of time off from doing nails just so I could focus on YouTube. I know that y'all always are like, girl, where you been at? And nine times out of ten, when I be missing from YouTube, I'm either going through it or I'm just busy doing nails. And lately, your girl has been really busy with nails, which I'm of course happy about, but also I've just been wanting to get back into my YouTube bag. So I've been trying to like bulk film content and everything this weekend. Like I said, today is Sunday, so Friday and Saturday, your girl was getting to it, okay? I filmed, I think, five videos on Friday. I've already edited almost all of them, so I'm just excited. I've also been working on, like, some new content, like some videos that I've never tried on YouTube. So I'm excited for this new era of Desk P, just trying out, like, new content. Of course, still doing the vlogs and stuff, trying to get as consistent as I can be with the vlogs. But sometimes, y'all, they just take a long time to edit especially these weekly vlogs which i know are the vlogs y'all always love to see when they be like an hour plus long girl sometimes it'll take me three days to edit i'm just trying to like focus more so on being consistent I'm just trying out new stuff to see what works for me yeah i'm excited for this week to be dropping content your girl has also been getting a good amount of brand deals which i'm super excited for and i want to thank y'all for that because obviously the brands are watching me they want to work with me because y'all show so much love to me and to my videos so 
shout out to y'all i appreciate y'all i feel like i don't tell y'all that enough Girl, none of this would be possible without you okay like i appreciate all my subbies all my viewers and i actually had someone comment on one of my videos one of the vlogs and they were like like girl i love the community that you built like even when you go goes on um youtube and you come back everybody is still here watching like nothing ever happened which i love that about y'all no matter what whenever i have to take my breaks whether it be i'm busy or i just need a mental health break y'all always be like girl take your time we gonna binge watch your old content and all of that so i appreciate y'all i love y'all y'all know we locked in okay we besties over here but yeah super excited for this week super excited for y'all to get this content um also let's just talk about how your girl is eating this makeup up right now do y'all see this base do y'all see the base period but yeah y'all i'm almost finished up with my makeup i'm probably about to turn my music on and finish the rest of my face and then i will come back and talk to you guys once i'm done i just finished getting ready i did my lashes i ended up using the kiss mascara y'all know i've been loving this i did a little tutorial on how to do this on instagram but yeah y'all this is the look as far as my hair goes i'm just gonna leave it out like i really don't feel like doing too much i wanted to start filming at 7 girl it is already 7 26 and i'm just now finishing the entire look so this is the makeup um as far as my outfit goes i decided to just throw on this little skim set it's a little two-piece and then i have on this hoodie this hoodie is actually a part of the haul but it is from halara um like i said you guys probably would have already seen the haul video before y'all see this weekly vlog but it's basically just this little waffle print hoodie in this baby pink color paired it with these little pink hoops that are in my little fashion nova pink and girly haul i'm loving all this pink y'all know this is my favorite color but I don't know it's just the giving like we got the pink nails going excuse my vanity it's a mess i didn't record me doing this set in any of my vlogs or anything this was kind of just something that i did but these are like my barbie nails i'm actually really sad because i didn't get to go and see it yet i think it came out either yesterday or the day before and I haven't gone yet. I need to give me some friends because I don't have nobody to go and see it with. My boyfriend's like, I'm not going to the theater to see Barbie. We're going to have to watch it at home. And me, in my head, I'm like, girl, what? Like, I want the whole experience. So I need to make me some friends in the next, like, week and a half so I can go see Barbie because, like... I need to see it. But yeah, y'all, this is our little outfit. I'm about to go ahead and start filming. It is 7.30 right now. It should not take me longer than 30 minutes to film, honestly. At least for the talking part. Me trying on our outfits, that be taking a little minute because I be getting hot. And then I have like... I don't know. I have probably like 20 things that I have to try you on. But as far as the haul goes, I'm not worried about that. I really just want to finish everything by 9, which I think I'm on schedule to do. And then tonight, I really just want to edit both of the hauls. So I have a weekly vlog that I need to edit tonight too. So I don't know. We'll see if we'll get around to everything. But I'm about to go ahead and start filming. And I will see you guys in a little bit. All right, y'all. It's been hours girl but i finished with my hauls y'all see all my bs in the back thankfully it's organized so i don't have to really go through too much to put it everything away um but i want to show y'all some of the stuff that i got so first of all look at this cute shirt so cute and then look at my socks Y'all know I'm a Hello Kitty girl. I love anything pink, so Hello Kitty kind of falls under that category. Came with some um, my Melody socks too. But yeah, y'all, um, right now I'm about to go ahead and take my makeup off. I'm tired of being on camera, girl. I've been recording in front of this camera all day, literally all day. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap today up here, and I will come back and catch up with you guys tomorrow. I don't know what I have planned for tomorrow, but we will figure it out. Look at me, where she gonna be? Call me Ricky T. Off the leash, I feel like a doe. I can't have the free, keep it pee. Never needed you, but you needed me. I got clean, make up baby clean. Push your self esteem. I got it tight in the moment, so I feel like baby king. Put the gas, step up, set it, so I just like baby B. Put your coat, pussy, that's a nigga, you know it's giving cream. I got hoes when there's not enough, come fill the nigga team. I need chips. Hello, 
hello besties so a lot has happened first of all my glasses are so dirty let's not as y'all can tell a lot has been going on since i last talked to y'all okay so we went and we saw the movie i thought we were going to see oppenheimer girl we went to see mission impossible i don't know why i thought that was the movie we were going to see but i was wrong so we went to see mission impossible y'all know it's just part one i can't wait for part two to come out because part one was so good i give it a nine out of ten and the only reason i give it a nine is because i hate when movies are in parts like i hate that but y'all know tom cruise be doing his big one in every single movie and it was really good i'm not gonna spoil it of course but nine out of ten and then after we went to the movies we ended up going to target i didn't vlog there because i didn't take my camera with me in the movies i was recording it on my phone and i don't know it just slipped my mind to record when we were in target so i've been telling you guys for a while now that i wanted to redo my closet so when i was there i decided to pick up a bookshelf just so i could like see the vibe of doing like a little diy pack system type thing in my closet i was going to pick up three of them because they said they had three in stock girl but they ended up only having one in stock so i bought it and i was like let me just put it together and see the vibe um when we went to the movies we ended up going with my boyfriend's brother as well so we came back to our house after and he helped my boyfriend put it together I ended up getting it together it took them forever to put it together it would have took me like 20 minutes girl i'm telling you this was the easiest thing to put together this is what it looks like I don't have the shelves on it just yet because i kind of just wanted to see the vibe of like how tall it was where i'm gonna be able to put it and all of that by the end of august i want this fully completed like i want to be able to have a beauty room in here because like i've been telling y'all i just want to get more into my content and it'd be hard to record at home sometimes like y'all know i be recording my hauls and stuff i feel like sometimes it's hard recording them at home when my boyfriend is here so i kind of just need like a designated room to be able to like go edit my videos and just I have my own space honestly like girl it's important to have your own space especially I feel like as a content creator if you live with your partner like you have to kind of work on a schedule because of course you don't want to have background noise in your videos For vlogs and stuff it doesn't really matter but when it comes to like my hauls and stuff I really be having to work around my boyfriend's work schedule because I like to record my videos when he's not here because when he's here he be listening to music he be on his game and all of that I know y'all don't want to hear that and then also I'm not trying to get copyright so yeah that's one of our new home projects that we are working on we're supposed to have a hair appointment tomorrow it don't look like we're about to have one anymore because she said her car broke down or something where did i just put my phone it's looking like your girl is not getting her hair done tomorrow anymore i just got a text from her asking me could i come to her but she lives like very far she lives like i think two hours away so that's not gonna work for me you just gonna have to wait to another day but yeah y'all your girl just put her robe on it's freezing in here my boyfriend love a cold house but yeah y'all i guess i'm about to just chill and edit for a little bit probably watch a little bit of youtube and then just edit me a video i will see you girlies tomorrow hey y'all it's the next day it's like two in the afternoon y'all look what i got we are finally going to be trying out miss j amber's order i hope it's good she said it's supposed to look light skin, and it looked pretty light skin, so I hope it's good and don't taste like just straight black coffee. Because espresso, that's for the grown girls, okay? Get all the espresso at the bottom. But this is a venti ice brown sugar shaken espresso with two pumps of white mocha. I think she only does one pump. Wow, I definitely have cold cream or whatever on my nose. I think she only does one pump. But I did too because, I don't know, this is like espresso. So I feel like it's going to be like really potent. Like a really potent coffee taste. So we're going to see. It smells like, it smells like espresso. Mm. Oh yeah. I see why the girls going crazy over this one. I'm going to be up all day. Mm. This is good. This is really good. I feel like it would be even better if you added caramel. Like lined into the cup. But yeah. I like this. I will order this again. Y'all know I'm not a Starbucks girl no more. I be going to Dunkin', but 
I don't know. They might got me with this one. But yeah, I just wanted to come and show y'all me trying out the coffee. Today is really just like an editing day. I have to edit three videos today. One of them is almost kind of finished. So I'm going to finish that up and then work on the other two. And then I also think I'm going to upload today as well. Hopefully, I'll be able to upload a vlog today. I do have two other videos I want to get out, but it's just a lot, girl. So, yeah, I'm about to enjoy this and have me a little editing session. And I will see y'all probably later. Oh, also, I don't even know if I updated y'all yesterday. I was supposed to get my hair done today. I didn't, obviously, end up getting my hair done. because She said her car broke down, so she wasn't able to come. So now I need to figure out what to do with this mess on my head. But we're just going to rock out with the bonnet until I figure it out. Maybe I'll install a wig later. Yeah. Whoa. 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 I had to cut some niggas out. They didn't mean me no good. I come from the ghetto, so my trunk is in my hood. She went... Wear no panties round me even if she could Gave out plenty spankers till they got it understood Fuck the nose please, baby, cuss it on this wood If you know it's tension, don't come round me like it's good I got street smarts and you can't get this out no bug I can't write my wrongs, but I can still write these hooks All time to get exposed, yeah Band from around here, nigga, come get off your show Savage, say you pussy and he hit it on the nose But that border's open, why you acting like it's cold? Alright y'all, it's a little bit later now. I am brushing my teeth because I hate that feeling of like coffee mouth. Like, I don't know. I just feel like my breath stinks from the coffee. So I'm finna brush my teeth. Um I got dressed. I just threw on this all black full body body super fashion nova. We're about to head out. I'm gonna go and grab something to eat. Me and my boyfriend are gonna get some buffalo wild wings and then I'll probably also do a couple stops while I'm out. Maybe at Target, maybe at what else is over there? Marshalls? I definitely want to go to Marshalls. So yeah, we're about to go ahead, head out. Can I do a 12 mile original? Can I do six parm and six mile? Teriyaki. Teriyaki. All right, six. Oh, unfortunately we are out of Amazon garlic. Go out and say it. All right, any ranch and cheese? Ranch. All right, anything else I can do for you? No, that's it. Alright y'all, we made it to Marshalls. This is so cute. That's crazy. Okay, honey pie. Oh, I'm with this. I said I wanted this last time. the spooky stuff out period this is so cute anyway all i found so far was this little vase and then y'all saw i got that um good girl perfume they i guess took it up to the front i guess people be stealing perfumes girl i don't know so she said they holding it at the front for me i also found skin fix which is really expensive well, maybe it's not. It's $17. I don't know how much the original is. I think the original is like $25. But I got that. And then I got some mugs. I got a Hello Kitty mug and a Bratz mug. I'll show y'all more once I get home. I'm trying to like keep my head on the swivel so I don't miss nothing. Oh my God. Not they have this black circle mirror in here for $40. And I spent like $150 for mine. 
and I will get another one, but where am I gonna put it? This is cute. I think I'm about to go ahead and wrap it up in here though. The lighting looks terrible. I'm about to go ahead and wrap it up in here cause it's not that much. I'm not finding much. Plus my phone is finna die. I got like 5%. But like I said, I'm really just wasting time. Ooh, this is so cute. It don't smell good though. That smell like holy water. I've been wanting one of these. I've been seeing the girls on TikTok use these. $16, I'll be down. And then the bottom dirty, like be for real. But yeah, y'all, I think I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up. Cause I'm not finding much. All right, y'all, I am back in the car. My boyfriend just went into B-dubs to get us the food. So I'm gonna do a quick little haul of everything that I got. I picked up this perfume while I was in there, y'all, because I think I showed y'all actually the good girl or very good girl. I'm not even sure. It is very good girl. Oh my gosh, I'm so pissed off. I have to take this back. This is body lotion and I thought it was a perfume. I'm finna go take this back. I should have known better. Like why would they have this perfume in there? Like be for real. But this is the very good girl body lotion. I'm about to go take this back. And exchange it for a, um a perfume they had the what's it called how much was this this is $29.99 they had the Ariana Grande perfume in there so I'm about to go and get that um but I'm gonna wait for my boyfriend to get back in the car for he be like girl where you go so I have that and then I also picked up the skin fix resurface this is a body cream if you watch my shower routine videos and y'all already know i have kp so i struggle with like discoloration and like dark spots on my legs it doesn't matter if i like shave exfoliate whatever they just don't go away so this is supposed to be really good for that i think i saw this in i believe kyra's video or someone's video so i got that but he's coming so i'm about to go take this back i gotta take this back Alright y'all, I am back. Oh, back where I was at. I showed y'all the skin fix already, I think. Like I said, it's just an AHA and BHA body cream. They also had the exfoliator in there, so I might go back and get that one day this week. I also picked up a new phone case. Y'all know every time I go to Marshalls, TJ Maxx, Home Goods, whatever, phone cases are essential. So I got this one. It's just a frosted clear back with like little lilac size. I thought it was cute. I had a phone case that was similar to this before, so I just grabbed that. Um, I did also, like I said, make my exchange. So instead of that little very good girl body lotion, I ended up getting the Ariana Grande Thank You Next perfume. I'm pretty sure that I got this for Majesty for her birthday, and I like the smell of it, so I just picked this up. This was $24.99. I'm pretty sure the original price is like $40. They had another one there as well, so if I like how this smells on me, I'll probably go back and get the other one because I just feel like $24.99, you can't really beat it because this is a a one ounce i'm gonna google how much the one ounce costs let me see i swear y'all my boyfriend be paying all this money for our phone bill and t-mobile i still don't be having no service like it was t and i saw this tweet earlier it was like if you could pay a t-mobile phone bill you could pay a car note like y'all our phone bill be damn near 300 dollars just for me to not have service like what the fuck so retail price for the one ounce is 45 dollars. like i said i got it for 25 so 20 dollars off is pretty good so i got this i'll probably go and get the other one i'm actually gonna go ahead and open this this is what it looks like you can also take it out of the carrier look how small this is that's crazy that we be spending all this money for this little ass bottle i already have on my ysl libre i'm not gonna spray it but it smells pretty good so yeah that's a good one make sure y'all go and get you some but yeah, I also got some mugs and stuff and um, a vase, but it's glass, so it's wrapped up. So I'll show y'all that stuff when I get home. But I'm about to head home now, and I'll see y'all once I get there. I'm back home, so I can show y'all the glass stuff that I got now. So I saw these ones. I got this. It's Bratz, and I thought it was so cute. I actually saw this one on TikTok, 
And it was another one that I saw on TikTok that was in there, but I decided not to get it. But it's a super cute. It has all the girls on it. I swear, when I was growing up, I wanted to be Yasmin so bad. <laughs> but yeah, this was $6.99. And it's a really big mug, so this is like perfect for anything, really. But it's perfect for my coffee. And then I got another one. This one is Hello Kitty. And I just thought it was cute. It's like glitter. So cute. And then the last thing that I got is this cute little vase. Y'all, this is only $7.99. And it's giving quality. Like, y'all hear that? It's giving quality. So, I'm excited for this. I don't know where I'm going to put it. But for now, I'm going to just sit it right here. Because I don't know what else to do with it. Just sit it like this. Anyway, I'm about to chill, eat my food. I told y'all we got some beat ups. It's not looking too good, honestly. I normally like all flats, but for whatever reason, they couldn't give me all flats today. So hopefully my boyfriend will swap some out with me. This is what they looking like. I really hate these big pieces of chicken. Like for all of you bitches out there, I hate to call y'all bitches. For all of you girlies out there, besties, whatever, that eat these big pieces of wings, like this big ass piece of chicken. Are you a man? Are you a man? That's for men. That is for men. This is for ladies, okay? Like, how do y'all just be eating them big? Oh, child. Mm -mm. It actually looks like they gave me a lot of flats, but I'm gonna see if he'll swap some out with me. And then I will eat that if I have to, but I just don't like that. And then I asked for extra wet. They talking about we can't do extra wet because it's wing night. What the fuck is the difference from you putting this on top of my wings and you giving it to me in a cup? Be for real. So I got a side of sauce to add on top because, I mean, they look okay, but I already know after I heat them up and stuff, it's it's not going to give what I want without the extra sauce. That's it for today, y'all. I'm about to get in the shower and then once I get out, I'm going to just eat my wings and edit. I'll probably watch a little YouTube while I eat because I'm one of those people. I have to watch something like a show, a video or something while I eat. So I'll probably do that. And then whenever I'm done eating, I'm going to just edit for a little bit. But yeah, y'all, I will see you tomorrow or later. I don't know. Probably tomorrow, though. Good morning, y'all. I've been up since about like nine something. Today is actually going to be the day that your girl starts on her closet. Y'all know I was telling y'all I want to do my closet transformation. So I'm going to go to Target later on today and pick up the rest of the shelves that I need. So I put in an order on Timu on my iPad. Y'all, I got so much stuff in my house. It's kind of insane. A little bit of what your girl got. Yeah, I got a few little like decor things. I also picked up those Bottega dupes that everybody has been posting. They have them on Amazon, but girl, they're on Timu for 98 cents. And then the um, silver ones are $1.78. So whenever this order comes in, I am going to do a haul. But I'll keep y'all updated throughout the vlogs and stuff so y'all can see the quality. Just in case y'all aren't interested in like the full Timu video. But like I've been telling y'all, I do want to do like a full-blown Timu haul here on my YouTube channel. I already placed one order and I did like a little haul on my Instagram and TikTok reel. I mean on my Instagram reels and my TikTok. But I do want to do like a full YouTube video. I just felt like I didn't have enough stuff. Stuff. so i'm probably gonna take all the stuff from this order that i just put in and then combine it with the stuff from my last order and do one big video for y'all so i'm excited about that and then i just grabbed a bunch of the stuff that i've been seeing on timu that has been in my cart for a while pretty much everything that i've been wanting i picked up i used my own coupon code because i realized i never ordered through timu on my ipad before so if you have any device that you've never downloaded timu on girl get on that device make sure you're using an account that you've never placed an order on before or like just use make a new email girl make a new email make a new account okay basically so that you can use my discount code and get 50 percent off the max that it takes off is 50 dollars. but girl i just got like how many things in this order i just got 26 things and i only spent 76 dollars mind y'all my original total was 312 dollars and 74 cents one thing about timu they're always having like sales and stuff so with the sales it took off 190 dollars and 84 cents so my total was 121 dollars and 90 cents and then i used my discount code that took off 50 percent 
So, mind y'all, the max that it will take off for 50% is $50. So, it took off $50, and my total ended up being $71.90. And then after tax and shipping was free. Tax was $4.32. I ended up only spending $76.22, which is really, really good, especially for all the stuff that I got, y'all. Once y'all see, y'all will be like, you got all of this for only $70-something dollars? Like, what? I cannot wait for my next little Timu haul. I'm super excited. Yeah, I'm about to probably do a little bit more online shopping i'm gonna look on shein and see if i can find anything that i want to put into the beauty room i'm gonna look on here and see what i can find and i'll probably catch up with you guys once i finally get up for the day and like get myself together y'all hey i don't know when the last time i talked to this vlog was it's now saturday um i just left from home depot because i had to get some more stuff for the closet i'll give y'all like a little update on that once i get home but right now, your girl is about to go to Trader Joe's because my man wants some for real, okay? And I want some too. It really sounds good. Punch back, you know, punch back. Right there. But yeah, I'm finna go in here, get some burrito so we could do burrito tacos. I really want to try the burrito baked potato that McKenna did, but they probably don't have just single potatoes in here. They might, I don't know. But yeah, I'm finna go in here, grab this real quick. And then I'm going to come out of here and we're going to go pick up some seafood, which y'all know seafood is my favorite food ever. I'm so excited because we haven't had seafood probably in like, I feel like I haven't had a, a proper boil bag or like pan of seafood in over a year. Like it's been mad long. So I'm going to go, I'm going to grab that and then we should be ready to head home, I think, right after that. And then I'm going to work on the closet. For a little bit i really don't want to today but i'm gonna do it just to get it out the way We got a package. I don't even know like what I'm doing with this vlog. First of all, I look a mess. I'm watching our nail, our mind. Let me pause this. But I don't even know what I'm doing with this vlog, y'all. I know that I look a hot mess. Like my hair looks crazy and it's insane. I literally just want to cut all my hair off, y'all. Like. I want to cut all this off and just big chop and live a bald life because I cannot. I literally have to. And I know this is probably going to sound bad because what? You're supposed to brush your hair every day. People don't do that. I don't. People. There's no way that people is out here doing that. I have curly hair. I'm not doing that. That's what I'm supposed to be doing, but I'm not doing that. Like, <laughs> do you know how long it takes me to detangle this? Like, babes, I literally just washed my hair and detangled my hair the day before yesterday. How does my hair look like this already? Like, how does my hair look like this already? And y'all can see my jet black has completely faded. It's given brown. It's not even given 1B, but it's given brown. But I need to dye my hair again. So I definitely will be dyeing my hair again soon if I don't cut it off. But update on the closet, y'all. We are getting somewhere where well, we're actually pretty much already done. Um, I hung up all of my, well not all of my, but most of my activewear and I added the new poles. I don't know if I updated this vlog or if I updated the closet video, but I'll just show y'all just in case I didn't. I hung up all of my like sports bras and like my sets with shorts right here. And then I have all my leggings right here and then all of my dresses, jumpsuits 
no that's wrong and then all of my little like sets at the bottom like two piece sets and like my little workout sets and stuff honestly y'all i feel like i'm gonna have to do something about this like nine times out of ten i'm gonna have to take this stuff out and move it somewhere maybe i'll have to put like my um my two-piece sets with my dresses and jumpsuits over there because as y'all can see like i don't have any room left to put any leggings so i'm thinking what i'm gonna have to do is like put all of this over there and then hang some leggings down here and potentially add like another shelf up under here but i'm not sure i did go ahead and add all of my heels and i know y'all are probably like girl you don't even be wearing heels so why you put the heels out i just feel like this looks more aesthetic than having like sneakers right here like this is giving i don't know the closet is giving me very much aldo vibes and it's crazy because if y'all didn't know, your girl used to work at Aldo. So it's giving me, like, that type of vibe. Like, it's taking me back. And I be thinking to myself, like, and I know that this is, like, totally off topic. But I be thinking to myself sometimes, like, it's crazy how we'll go through certain, like, stages of our lives. And we won't think anything of it. But I feel like those stages will really prepare us for later down the line. If it's not something that lasts forever, like jobs, for instance, y'all know. Well, if y'all don't know, because I don't even know if I did YouTube at this time. But when I used to work a 9 to 5, before working my last 9 to 5, um, I used to work part-time at so many different retail spots, y'all. Like, I worked at DTLR. I worked at, um, what is it called? Journeys. I worked at Auto. Like, all these retail spots. And I feel like they really prepared me for this. Like, this right here. I'm so good at, like, hanging my clothes now. Like, do y'all see this? It's giving stored. The girls don't be organized like this. The girlies don't be organized like this. Like, I feel like that moment in my life really prepared me for this. And I said the same thing about me working at DTLR because I used to have to bring out so many boxes of shoes for people to try on and they wouldn't even buy them half the time. And then, like, when I worked at Journeys, I don't know if they still do it, but they used to have this thing called Four to the Floor where you got to bring out, like, all these extra items on top of what the customer already asked you to bring out so me lifting all those heavy boxes girl i feel like that was preparation for me building this closet because i had to carry all those shoe boxes and and put stuff on hangers a proper way i just feel like i was prepared for this with my old jobs and i know it sounds crazy and that's probably not even like you know but that's how my mind works so that's what i'm gonna tell myself like everything was preparation for right now okay but yeah y'all closet is almost done like i said we did just get an amazon package so i'm about to go ahead and open that because it does have things in it for my closet i got all these cute little box cutters from timu y'all like look at this so cute and aesthetic but we're gonna open up this little amazon package i actually got so many packages yesterday i should have vlogged but i was impatient and i opened everything already so i'll still show y'all everything oh my god i look so crazy like my hair is this is fresh out the bed hair y'all like i literally rolled out the bed so please don't judge me honestly go ahead and judge me i really i don't care <laughs> clearly but I did get a bunch of packages yesterday, so I am going to show y'all that. But in this package here, we have um, a few little, like, jewelry display things for behind me. So I got a little necklace display that I'm going to put right here. If I don't put it right here, I'll probably put it right here. I'm not sure, but I'm going to sit it right here for now just because that's where all the other jewelry is. And disregard these little, like, bangles in the back. I have it on a paper towel holder because <laughs> that's what I was doing before I did this whole closet. Like, I just kept all of my little acrylic bangles on this little organizer. I mean, I said organizer. On this little paper towel holder thing. But I am going to order, like, a black velvet stand to be able to put my bangles. I have this little stand over here, too, but I feel like they won't all fit on there. And I actually did get this yesterday, so since I'm talking about it, I'll show it to y'all. It's a little, like, bracelet organizer, and then it has a little ring organizer right here. And then another little, like, storage little opening right there i did also get these little jewelry organizers they're like little trays these came in yesterday i got these on amazon they're a pack of six and i have all of my jewelry in here it's so like this one organizes all of my rings and then i have 
this one right here that organizes like earrings or whatever you want to put in it honestly but like i said that came in a pack of six originally i thought i was going to need another one for my rings because i forgot that the little bracelet organizer had one so i picked up another tray that i could use for my rings and stuff but i don't know i might not keep this i might return it and then the last thing in this package that i just got my little perfume organizer i got one of those like stands i don't even know what to call it like a little like the layered y'all know what i'm talking about girl everybody in their mama got this i don't even have to tell y'all y'all know exactly what i'm talking about The way my camera died on y'all, I didn't get to show y'all, but this is how it came out. So cute. It's a little perfume stand. And then I added these two little vases right here for the time being. These are actually from Timu. I got them in a set of two. I think I paid like $20 for both of those, I think. But yeah, there's that. Um, I did also end up keeping that other little ring holder. So I have all of my like acrylic rings in there or whatever they are, plastic, child, I don't know. And then y'all know all my perfumes at first were on the tray over here. I actually just went ahead and set up all of my dossier fragrances and like my non-designer fragrances back here. So like I said, this is mainly like all dossier. Y'all see, I be stacked up with my dossier. I tried to put some of my favorites in the front. So we have like the Amberry Saffron, Woody Freesia. Those are like my fave faves at the moment and then um there is some others sprinkled in of course and then in the back i have my ebony wood y'all know this is my girl okay ebony wood was like the start of my perfume collection literally this is what made me obsessed with perfumes shout out to kyra because she put all the girlies on and as y'all can see we love her. Like, she's empty. I lost the top for it. I really need to order another one. I don't know if they still have this, but it's from Zara, and it's 10 out of 10. And I need to definitely get my hands on another bottle before fall, because this is, like, my signature fall scent. But, yeah, I have that in the back. And then I also have these two L'Occitane um, fragrances that they sent me in PR. I love both of them. This one is actually, like, an oil and then this one is like a lemony fresh scent. So I like this one when I'm like on my cycle or like when it's really, really hot outside. And then this one right here is just fire. I love the scent of this actually. I think I don't get to use it as much as I want to during the day because it is an oil. I mean, of course I can still wear it, but I like to put on my fragrances over my clothes and I don't be wanting to stain my clothes with this. So I mainly use it when I get out the shower. For whatever reason, the camera's not trying to focus on it. There we go. But yeah, this is fire. This smells so good, actually. Um, I did also set up my little necklace display. I decided to just put all of my, like, more luxe jewelry right here. My custom chain that one of you guys actually sent to me. Shout out to the girls, okay? Shout out to the bestie that sent this, because this is fire. And I've had this for probably, like, a year or two now. I don't wear it as often because I don't want to mess it up. And y'all see how it look like. She's just a display piece. I wear her every now and again, but very rarely. And then I also have this little necklace right here that I got. Um, I don't know where I got this from. And then the one at the top, y'all always ask me about this little Cuban. My mom got this for me, so not sure where you can get it from because she got it for me. And then um, all of my little bracelets over here. I have all of my little Cartier dupes and my um, bangles here that, again, one of the besties sent over. I actually don't even wear bangles, but I want to keep these on display because one of y'all sent them to me. And I don't know. I keep everything that y'all send me, by the way. Like, I have a whole box of stuff that y'all send me. So I keep these here. I might eventually wear them, but I'm not sure. I think this might be from the same person that sent me this. But I could be wrong. I'm not sure. And then right here, um, I have all of my, like, big hoop earrings that couldn't fit in these little organizers. So, I just put them in this one. Y'all see I have my little custom earrings from Sylviex that say Despi. 
so cute this is from timu too this other one back here was actually in my suite and i brought it home and i'm happy that i did that the reason that i have the pink one because i know y'all are probably like girl that pink don't match da, 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 da. i'm not finished with this room yet and i do want to add um some like pink touches because y'all know pink is my favorite color and this is supposed to be a beauty room so i want this to be like very pink very girly not like a full-blown pink room because i am very like minimal when it comes to my vibe and my aesthetic if things are too colorful or if it's like too much going on it will give me anxiety i said that to say because i actually was having a conversation with someone a while ago and they were saying like they don't like influencers because the aesthetic like that the clean aesthetic or the minimal aesthetic it'd be fake fake and forced and all influencers try to do it just want y'all to know that this right here is very much my aesthetic like and it has nothing to do with the actual aesthetic itself it's simply that i cannot live a colorful ass life and while yes color added to your apartment might make you more happy or whatever the case may be whatever the science behind it is good for you i can't live like that i will literally get anxiety like this like just this corner in my room right along I haven't showed y'all this like just this corner right here is giving me so much anxiety right now because I don't know what to do with any of this stuff. I'm probably going to get like an Alex drawer or something to put right here just so I have more storage. But as far as like my luggage and stuff, I have no idea where to put that. And it's giving me anxiety just looking at it. Like all this color in this corner right here is pissing me off real bad. But yeah, y'all, I just wanted to say that like I know everybody be doing the whole minimal clean girl, new beige, white aesthetic. But some of us just don't like colorful shit. I could never live in a colorful house. The only color that I have in my house, y'all know, and they really aren't even colors, is gray and black. And technically, those aren't colors. So, like... Hey, besties. So, it is now the next day. I think the last time I was talking to y'all, I was showing y'all me putting up the new perfume stand and i think my camera died i might be wrong but yeah today is now wednesday your girl is doing a little like midweek reset right now i'm doing my laundry as y'all can see i have all of my like pillows and stuff right there i'm washing my comforter and my pillow sets and stuff currently though y'all see we standing in my little beauty room i just finished adding all of the little magnets to the lights and this is what they're looking like. So, um, I can't remember if I told you guys what I'm going to use these for or not. But I decided that I'm going to just stick them up under all of the cabinets. Not cabinets, but y'all know. I'm going to stick them up under all of these little shelves where I have, like, the hanging clothes at. Because I have six little compartments and I have six of these lights. So, I'm like, I might as well. So, I'm going to hang these up in a little bit. I just went in and added the magnets and everything to the bottom. And these are rechargeable. And they get pretty bright not like super bright but that's bright enough for my clothes y'all see like you can see the difference without it versus with it like it's a, it's a little something something i'm gonna hang those up in a little bit um i washed my hair last night so we is not looking too crazy anymore i know i still look crazy but not like too too crazy but yeah i ordered like two 12 packs of these little clear shoe boxes i really wanted to get the ones from the container store but they were super expensive so i found some on amazon like i said it was a pack of 12 and i'm pretty sure i spent like 40 or 30 dollars on it i'm not sure but i'll have it linked down below i already went in and put together two of them so i'm about to go ahead and put the rest of them together now and then we can start to like declutter the front of my house because y'all know when i did well i don't know if it's in this vlog transformation closet video i don't chill my content's all over the place right now but in one of these videos i showed y'all me taking everything out of my closet and i moved it to the front of my house so i've been like slowly but surely taking everything out of the front of the house getting rid of stuff and all of that um currently i just have two bins of shoes that i need to go through out there and then i have a bin of clothes that i've already went through that i need to put into my storage outside but i have to go through the storage and organize that first so i'm probably gonna do that when my boyfriend gets home from work that way i could like have everything out of the front of my house because i'm really tired of looking at it i'll show y'all what it looks like in a second just in case i haven't showed y'all in this video and also if i have showed y'all y'all will be able to see how much progress i made because girl 
I didn't record it, but y'all, I literally got rid of so much stuff. I got rid of over 30 pairs of shoes, and I still have shoes I'm pretty sure that I need to get rid of. But we'll see about that when the time comes, once I start going through everything. So this is everything that I have left out here. So I'm gonna take these two sets of drawers and I'm either gonna throw them out or I'm gonna put them outside in the storage closet and use it for extra storage. I'm just not sure if they're gonna fit yet. So we're gonna figure that out and see how that goes. And then all right here are all of my boots, which I do wanna put into the closet outside because it's hot outside right now. I'm not gonna be wearing no boots no time soon. So. Yeah, I want to get rid of all of these and like just put them outside. And then over here is all of my sneakers. Like I said, I'm about to try to put all of these into the clear shoe boxes. Like I said, I already did two pairs. So this is what the first box looks like. Like I said, they're literally just clear boxes. And then they have little doors in the front. So you could like, it's hard to do with one hand. But you basically just pop it open and then there's the sneakers which i honestly really need to get rid of these because i've never worn them well actually i wore these once or twice i think i wore them once when i was in college and then once when i was a senior in high school and i never wore them again so i should probably get rid of these but i have a really bad habit when it comes to my sneakers like if you know then you know i used to be a real big sneakerhead, so i have like a lot of jordans and stuff that i just can't seem to part ways with but that's one of them these are another pair that i should probably get rid of as well because i can't even tell you the last time i wore these yeah y'all these are what the shoe boxes look like i'm basically just gonna stack them on top of each other and then put them at the top of the little closet system here is another big bin of shoes that i need to go through and then right there is a bag filled with shoes that i need to go through so i'm gonna do that in a little bit but right now i'm about to just focus on getting all of these little shoe boxes built and putting these sneakers away so you can get the biggest you never back in the store if you want it i gave them the drill they set it up i got them on it i bought a new bed i got had to watch so i two tone them taking the drills i'm gonna be up until the morning then they just call you just release so you don't own it if i'm in the drawer i got that five when i'm performing the back end just came in and out on us five's the little cute shit they all on us i'm from Atlanta with young niggas run shit i know they hating on me but i don't need comments whenever i tell her to come she coming whenever it smoke beat ain't running y'all know i'd be so shocked at the pr that i get y'all look what i just opened first of all i opened this package not on camera because i thought it was my electric lighter that i bought baby i opened this package look at this y'all oh my god oh my god uh, did she just get pr from mason margella bitch stop playing i don't even know how they got my info let's open it i'm so mad because i already wait did i i didn't spray perfume on myself today actually i just put lotion on but i have on the eos vanilla cashmere so i hope this pairs well but yeah, y'all, I got this PR package from Mason Marcella. It's their replica beach walk perfume. I'm pretty sure this is a mini size. Is she an influencer? Like, bitch, I have to call my sister about this one. One thing about me, I'm always call my sister. Oh, it's a tiny little baby. So cute. Let me see. She's probably never going to get touched just for the simple fact that it was PR. But I don't know. Do I like the way it smells? It's very clean and fresh. 
Let me see. I don't want to spray it on me because what if I don't like it? Let's spray it on the card. Yeah, it smells very fresh and clean, very grown woman, very floral. What are the notes? It has bergamot, lemon, and a lang lang, and it is fused with the additive scents of coconut milk, musk, and helotrope or heliotrope. Girl, it smells like I said. It's very fresh and clean. I know I like more like musky scents. Like I really like Replica's Jazz Club. But it still smells pretty good. This is something that I will probably wear more so around like the spring and summer months. But I'm definitely going to be trying to find a little combo. Y'all know I love my perfume combos. So I'm going to see what this will smell good with. Honestly, I think this might smell good with YSL Libre mixed in. Oh, I like the way it settles down. Ooh, once it like sets in, it's not as florally. It's more like the bergamot that I'm smelling. Is it bergamot? Yeah. I like that. But yeah, we're going to add her to a little, what's it called? I have all of my minis over here. I guess I'll put it right here. That's not cute. Let's swap it for Miss Dior. Okay, I never thought this would be my life. I feel like such an influencer. Love that for me. But yeah, y'all, shout out to Mason Margella for sending this over. I'm definitely gonna have to post a cute little story because I don't be posting all of my PR, but I'm gonna post this. <laughs> but yeah, y'all, that's what we got going on. Oh, also, I did end up putting all of the shoe boxes and everything up this is what it looks like in the closet as of now i'm really irritated y'all because after i did this i started seeing so many like organization tiktoks and i really wish i would have made a tiktok of me organizing these and just like the whole closet process i'm happy that i vlogged it and didn't like leave y'all hanging but i really wish i would have made a tiktok out of this because it looks so good I wasn't sure how I felt about the shoe boxes being up here. You can't really see it when I'm at like this angle or when I'm sitting in my vanity, but like I don't like that. Like being able to see it. And then also in the mirror, like I don't like being able to see it. Even if I take the wide angle lens off, you can still, you know. So that's that, but I don't have any other like storage to put my shoes and stuff, but it's fun. Overall, I think my closet looks amazing. I've been getting so many compliments on it, like, girl, no way you did that yourself. My friend Michaela said it was giving the container store custom closet, and y'all know those be expensive. So, I'm happy that it's looking good and that everybody is like, you did your big one with this, because I really put in so much work, y'all. Like, this took me, like, two weeks of work two weeks of work and i put in work almost every single day for those two weeks doing all of this i'm also really happy with the way this area came out right here like i think this is my favorite area aside from like my heels i don't even know i love everything about this closet like it's giving ikea packs it's giving very much custom closet like it looks expensive so i'm happy this is what it's looking like in here without the mirror. I feel like it looks so bland. I did go in and add some stuff. So I got this little vase thing with like some little fake pompous. I got this from Burlington actually. And I don't go in Burlington often. And they didn't have anything. But I did find this. I think it was like $6 or like $10 or something. So I got that. And then y'all saw when we went to Marshalls. I picked up this. I decided to add it right here. And then I took the little like length thing for my coffee table and put it over here. And then the little candle setup that has been there for a couple months now. Those little candle holders are from Sheen. So 
yeah that's what it's giving out here i do want to get some sort of like decor pieces or something to go like right here and right here at first i was thinking like to do shelving but i'm not sure so if y'all have any ideas of what would look good on both of these sides please comment down below because i would love to know as of right now i just have my dog's bed and her toys i didn't do any updates for real, for real to like the actual sitting area i did get these little candle holder thingies from timu so i kind of just added like a candle on top and then i decided i do want to go in and paint the outside of these black i just don't know what i'm gonna do with y'all i already got the paint and everything i just need to sit down and do it but yeah y'all that is all the apartment updates and also y'all shout out to my girl lauren lauren c jones on youtube and tiktok she put me on well not me she put the girls on on her youtube i don't have nowhere to sit y'all so hopefully y'all will not fall right here please don't fall don't mind all that stuff in the back i have to take it to the compactor so we have valet trash but they don't pick up like certain stuff so all that that's right there i have to take to the compactor later today don't mind it but my girl lauren she put the girls on to some like hermes slides dupes so this is what they look like they're not actual like replicas or nothing like that like they don't say hermes anywhere on this it's not supposed to be like an actual you know hermes dupe or i don't know inspired these are inspired by they're not dupes or is a dupe and it's not a knockoff is what i'm saying but this is what it looks like these are the white ones these are really good quality y'all i actually already wore these once um and they were like nine dollars i think well they were on sale for nine dollars at first i think i ended up spending like 15 they were having a back to school sale i think it was like buy one get one free and i was like bsing i didn't end up ordering them during the back to school sale and they ended up having another sale so i decided to just go ahead and hop on and buy them so like i said i got those white ones and then i also got these black ones i love these y'all they did also have a brown pair but for whatever reason every time i try to go on a website i can't find them but they say on google that they came out with brown i'm not sure if they discontinued the brown pair or what but i picked up both of these luckily i did because now i went on there and they don't even have my size in stock so these were our two newest pickups that came in this week um well last weekend actually oh and i don't even know if i said it the shoes are from belk they're from belk i'll leave the links for it down below in the description box just in case y'all are interested but yeah I'm just laying in the bed right now waiting on my boyfriend to come home i'm probably just gonna watch some youtube videos and then whenever he gets here hopefully he takes me to get some food because i am starving i have not ate all day he left me in his house with no food been gone all day like chill please i really want chipotle but i also really want coffee i also really want to go to wendy's because i want to try it out they have a new frosty and it's like coffee flavor or like creamy cold brew frosty i think is what it's called and they have a caramel flavor if you know me you know i love caramel i like vanilla too like vanilla coffee be good and honestly chocolate is okay as well i'm just not a big chocolate fan but i really want to try every single flavor like i'm pressed about the caramel because i love caramel but i want to go to wendy's and try every single flavor of the frosty but i know my boyfriend is not going for that today <laughs> he gonna be like you're not even gonna finish one so i'm not getting you all three mm. But yeah, I honestly really need to cut this vlog and like stop it because I've been vlogging for probably like three or four weeks straight. I'll come back and catch up with y'all and it's so dark in here. I'll catch up with y'all in a little bit.